Hi, it's Rosie at Roseman Name Co. I'm back again today. It's a beautiful day today in New Brunswick. And I wanted to show you my next journal that is up in my Etsy shop now. So I'm going to show you my new installment of the Circle of Seven series that I have going, which are witch journals. This one is, uh, like the previous ones, a very large journal, a thick journal filled with all kinds of goodies inside, which I will show you. And uh, let me just start by uh, showing you the size of this is if I measure it, it's like nine and a half inches high and about six and a half wide. So it's a, quite a large journal. And on the side also, it's about two and three quarters, almost three inches wide. On the spine. Now, this is a hardcover book board journal, and on the side it has a slightly curved spine. It has a closure that is lace that I cut out from a bigger piece. It has strips beautifully, and I just cut the strip and then added uh, for reinforcement some coffee dyed cotton on the back. And the tassel is quite full with uh, various ribbons and uh, pieces of sari scarf. And then it also has beads inside to match the um, cover here with some browns in this, on this beautiful trim over here that I found. And here as well. So uh, matching the cover. And then it has an entire necklace as well that is attached. Now, if the... You know, the tassel is too thick for you or too heavy. You can always just detach it on the top here. But it has this uh, beautiful necklace that Helena, who owns this journal, which is the uh, third witch who is has been invited to a reunion uh, with her coven. It was a, It's a high school reunion, and uh, she has received the invitation. And anyways, this is her book. She keeps invitation inside. Anything else that she collects or that uh, she uses for her spells and so on, uh, textures and, and different things, uh, she keeps it in here. So um, this necklace belongs to Helena, and she loves uh, this color and the beautiful stone that's inside here. So that's included with the journal here. Let me just um, show you a little bit here, a little peekaboo because of course we'll go uh, through uh, page by page and on the back as well um, it has uh, different ribbons all across uh, first I started with the golden uh, fabric inside and then I added uh, uh, different ribbons here and over here is burlap uh, with some ribbon over top and then this beautiful trim and then as well I have um, these little fringes that I attached uh, myself all the way around. And then on the bottom we have some sewing tails and so on. And this is the spine. Uh, and let me just open this up. Oh, before I open it, uh, let me show you the top as well. The beautiful uh, soft textures that we have here. All in different colors and so on. Uh, mostly, though, red and black, which is, uh, of course, throughout the journal. So to open it up, just unties, and it is a loose closure, so we can take it right off. And over here on the cover, we have Helena, and um, she's very serious about her witchcraft, and... Um, Besides that, she is a pomologist, uh, like her uh, like her grandfather, Frank, and uh, she's taken in his footsteps and has um, gone through college and university, and is now a pomologist. Works in on a plantation um, back in the uh, 1930s somewhere, uh, where they are cultivating fruits. So pomology is a study and cultivation of fruits. So. Um, so we have a picture of Helena and a little bit more uh, laces here and I've uh, added cotton underneath so it's a little bit puffy here as well. We've got some sequins and buttons and um, the Tim Holtz name uh, plate here which I love. 
and uh, so this is the inside it has some charms and uh, laces of all kinds and all kinds of goodies inside to show you so let us begin so I hope you have some time to um, look at this journal with me it, it is quite thick like I said Phil with uh, lots of uh, journal inserts and um, hinged pages, uh, lace pages, all kinds of things. So to begin with, um, this is Helena's badge. Each uh, witch has a badge of their own, and this is the design that she has uh, picked for herself. And um, this is something that they um, like to keep in their journal. And over here we have cardstock, uh, this beautiful dove, and she loves nature in general. And, of course, especially fruits and so on. So, here you can still write something on here or glue something of your own. And then on the inside over here where this pine is, it has this beautiful gold fabric. Very, a little bit shiny and so on. And on the first page, uh, we do have a hinged page. So, it does open up. And let me show you to begin with. We have a butterfly on lace and a little bit of collage here. And here's Helena. She is uh, picking some fruits and um, looks like maybe, I believe that's maybe her niece. Um, she doesn't have any children at the moment. And um, of course, any journaling card or so is backed with some sort of eco dyed or coffee dyed paper. And then over here is her invitation to the high school class of 1929. So uh, she has gone on, of course, to, you know, on from high school and um, has a job and so on now. And, um, but this is uh, something, the invitation is something that each uh, of the seven witches received and um, they will be joined um, once together again to be together. I'm not sure at what point I will do the final one, but I still... Um, have a few um, to go first of all now on the top here uh, we have this um, beautiful uh, tag uh, that I made and um, this is from my own uh, digital kit that I printed here and then added a lot of different textures to it and on the back it has this um, beautiful red um, paper um, that I eco stained and that will just fit in the top here. So a lot of uh, tags and journaling cards and so on. Now on the inside um, also here is a tuck spot. And it's mostly empty so you can also add something to this journal. Um, this is a card that I embossed and added a little bit of detail here. So uh, enough space here to put a spell on or something. And over here is the inside of the hinge page, and um, we have these uh, cards. I did copy my old cards that I have of this design um, that are still maybe, I'm not sure, back from the 1940s or so um, that we have, and uh, included them here just because they're so odd looking, I guess. So over here uh, we have a, a little... A little bit of a ribbon and then as well a little uh, sparkly charm here which Helena uh, likes uh, things like this and then over here is a, a authentic photograph and it is um, Helena uh, with her mother and uh, her younger sister Christina now I'm doing uh, the next journal the fourth one will be about Christina so um, they are sisters and their last name is Thompson, so it's Helena and Christina Thompson, and um, their mother as well. So, over here, uh, it's just a journaling tag to uh, write on, because I also needed to give you some spaces for actual writing, um, because everything is pretty full otherwise. Here's a little bit of a feather on this uh, cluster here. And then I, I did find somewhere in a book, this is an actual authentic book page, um, which I just uh, stained a little, and I put different textures on here. So if you're feeling this is a very tactile journal, um, you can also feel all through that there's texture through these trees. This happened to say book three, 
and this in fact is book three because we had book one uh, which is a which was about Amara and then book two which was about Charlotte and those two journals are sold and gone and this is the third one about Helena so book three on this one and then in the back I put some of this um, beautifully uh, stained paper here and I added some uh, stick markings so a lot of the markings that you see here are made uh, with sticks and ink and I just like to make lines uh, for writing uh, that way in a little bit of my pinky over here with red now over here is Helena um, as she's growing uh, she does show her love of fruits uh, early on she loves to eat it and pick it and grow it so um, she was learning early on and over here I have a little bit of a collage including some of my uh, dark painting here and then um, this is the house that they live in um, they are well off and um, but the whole family lives here grandparents parents and the new generation uh, Helena and so on it's an actual postcard um, it's interesting to point out that the writing here is uh, the address is this way but the message is upside down so I'm not sure how or why and then this here too is written upside down so I thought well okay it's a little bit odd so that would be perfect for this journal and then I made a belly band just with uh, wool string that uh, runs across to the other side over here I found some herbs and uh, plants and so on that I thought fit into this journal so this one is Samson snake root so which with some of the uh, different um, uh, names that I like as far as uh, plants and herbs sassafras <laughs> anyhow um, this was printed on a tracing paper about uh, witch finder this was um, vintage uh, from the internet over here I happened to find somewhere um, you know as you shop uh, thrift shops and so on uh, this is vintage wallpaper sample and it just I love the colors on here and it shows a little bit about plants and the inside of the flowers and so on and this uh, beautifully fringed and then on the other side I just sewn uh, some paper to write on three ants that she has and they are all in uh, into witchcraft of course and um, I put laces uh, three different kinds here on top of this larger piece of lace and then on the back uh, this is uh, cotton fabric on which I sewn the runes symbols so if you uh, check out the runes uh, card which I have here it will show you uh, what these mean for example this first one what looks like a P is happiness so each one means something and you can check out what it is on here which is included in the back over here so lots of collaging going on just a little bit of a small tag here and maybe some tools that she uses and this is one of the circle collages that I did a while back collaging here all over and then inside is a journaling card, which is uh, from my kit, the witch's diary. And then in included is a little feather on top. And, and on the back also it says witch here. And uh, witch's uh, shoe that, I don't know, it's always kind of spooky to me, the witch's hat and the witch's shoe. Um, so this is a portrait of Helena when she's in her maybe priestess mode. I'm not sure if she's a leader of the coven or anyhow, a little bit uh, more when she's in the mood uh, to uh, do some bewitching. <laughs> and uh, um, this beautiful collage here. So her name, Helena Thompson here as well. And um, this was a half page and I just added a little bit more to write on and the same in the back. And a little bit of the colors the golden brownish and blues that you see on the cover as well and then a lace page and this one I wanted something really really grungy 
Um, so I did this one, uh, left it in uh, for a few days in the coffee, and then taped on some lines for writing. And then here's a cotton piece where I did with the sticks a pentagram. And on the back is a little tuck spot here with a paper ruffle and digital stamping. And because she's a pomologist and she collects um, beautiful images about fruits and so on. So a little bit more collaging here and writing space. And on the top, you'll always see um, some kind of tabs added. And then this is another um, collage page where a writing spot. And then um, you have a little tag over here uh, with this golden uh, trim here. And then more writing. And a little bit of black here with sequence and then a horizontal tag. And um, if you look at the, my tags, they usually in, uh, uh, contain a lot of different things on it. It's the way I like I like them. Uh, so maybe they look busy and all that. But if you look at them closely, you could take some time and see uh, what's actually on here. So uh, some different items and textures and so on. But in the back, it's always a spot for writing. I like this horizontal ones lately. So in the middle, uh, we have um, this beautiful, everything's beautiful, of course, my favorite word, um, middle. And uh, this was printed on vellum. And it is a digital collage that I did myself. And this was specifically for Helena. So I did... Uh, also um, put on a little bit of some verses and uh, some paper and fabric so a little bit more texture uh, you can always feel to see what's going on on the, my pages and then a little bit of uh, beads in the middle here and in this large pocket we have something here's a seventh book of wonders so i wanted to use the seven in here and then we have this um, pretty little paper clip and then there's Helena she is uh, learning how to you know grow plants and fruits and so on it's just a beautiful uh, vintage painting about this uh, lady which fits perfectly in with my Helena for this journal and Helena uh, by the way is the uh, middle name uh, of my oldest daughter I have three daughters so and they will each have a journal named after them. Um, but I chose the middle name uh, for this one. And then over here is from a coloring book. It is beautiful, beautiful fawn or deer. I'm not sure what you would call it. Uh, but um, maybe moose. I don't know. It has the beautiful, beautiful curly headdress. And in the back you have some plants also. So... You can color that or leave it as it is or write on it. So I'm going to leave that in here. That's the first uh, large pocket. And then in, in the next pocket. Now there's always a little bit more room so that you can uh, put some of your own collection in here. So this is a, a floating pocket as I call it. So you can glue it actually somewhere if you would like. It has this little bit odd kind of um old kind of foundings or whatever findings some uh, kind of ring on it and then this collage with owls and the golden bowl i'm not sure then uh helena does like to travel so this is uh, a time that she went uh, traveling and uh, sent a postcard uh, maybe back home she does live in the united states in florida so all the um, each girl does live in the united states in a different state uh, different part of the country and of course she follows the moon changes real and apparent of the moon so these are some of her collections that uh, she might keep in here and here it says conjure and witchcraft and the name helena and this is a little bit of the inside uh, maybe the house that where she lives and so on and some things that she might have collected here so in the back, again, um, we also have here a little writing spot. And uh, more writing here. And also another 
horizontal tag one of these very very thin ones just for a date or some special uh, maybe wording or so on and if also if you look uh, close you will see some different things on this tag it goes this way as opposed to this way um here's a little uh, tuck spot here and um digital collage here and i also added a regular um image on here as well and then of course we have lots of the textures on each page and so on and this is another grungy page that i left because i love it and uh, i put more collaging on here and another pentagram on cotton and um, then you have this lace over top and here's another photograph of uh, young helena she um she's always very busy so she's not committed to anyone and uh, she's just focused on her work at the moment and in the back also this um, beautiful image here and then uh, collaging over here and over here it says coven i'm not sure if you can see it coven here and the eye all-knowing eye and uh, a little bit collaging here more collaging here number seven and 52 five and two seven this is coincidental i did not plan this i just noticed that five and two seven okay and uh, just a little uh, journaling card here and then here as well is the other side of the rune uh, symbols uh, which i sewn on to the cotton backing here and a little bit more textures over here and a vintage image um, of a witch walking through the woods and nice and dark i love it and just um you know just to go with the journal and the theme and so on so here's uh just a little bit of uh, paper i've sewn on here for writing and you can always maybe hide something behind here and then this beautiful orange as well and uh, another little almost looks like a flower uh little cyrus carved piece over here and over here i included a little postcard i have authentic um it's from a book of series of photos so anyway this this one is about a wall and this one is uh, looks like a, a headstone uh, somewhere uh, which i thought uh, was a little bit odd and um a little bit spooky or something so she does like to maybe visit cemeteries and um, which i like to do and i like to look at the different details on headstones and um just have a little piece it's very very peaceful of course and then the tracing paper with the images vintage uh, images then the other side of the plants and then over here this one says witch and the little belly band here and this one says moon over here and you see a little witch sitting on a moon and um this is from my digital kit over here some more lines that i um, did with the little stick and over here i just gave you a little notebook and it's attached to this page and i like uh when i'm stamping i like it that it shows that it's been sitting here for a long time because when you open it it's got a little separate uh, lighter spot on here anyways you can put some spells here or some uh, some other recipe of or something and over here a little bit more collaging here and then just a, a vintage page uh, from a book of poems so maybe you can you know just relax and read a little bit and add some more poems coming to the end of the first signature and here at the end i give you a little notebook and on top is a tag uh, to write on it has embossed leaves design and a little bit of lace and on the back here's Selena, and uh, maybe she's uh, waiting on a friend or maybe another member of the coven and she's got her hat on i added lace on top almost looks like that is her hat um so a little bit of a spot over here an empty spot that i left for you to fill because i had to take things out uh, because it's just uh, too full i'm going to include it with the journal separately and then you can either add it if it's okay with you or you can put it into another journal 
So in the middle of the first and se second signature, I have a little raggedy uh, that I made. Um, this here is a little tuck spot, so you can put something in and write uh, your spells over here or some kind of recipes. And over here is a little bit of beads and uh, fabric um, collage. And in the back, um, there's a see-through pocket, and uh, I, I gave you some paper to write on, and there's a spot here as well. And you can fill in um, a lot more on it as well. And uh, here you can see also um, that beautiful um, golden fabric in the middle. So on the second signature, we have this uh, larger tag that I made. And it has a textured tab over here and um, different colors on this tag some uh, plants and writing and a little bit of lines and uh, that beautiful orange that is uh, throughout the book and then i also stamped over here this is my own stamp um, that i made and a um, little bit maybe of like a, a headdress over here maybe something that the girls sometimes um, in the coven wear and just a little bit of more texture on top of that as well. Over here, this black cardstock from the scrapbook uh, collection. And uh, in this uh, smaller see-through pocket, I uh, just gave you a, a few, a couple of small pieces of paper to use. And then also a little bit of uh, fabric as well that you might want to put somewhere else. And then here also, there's a spot you could write on top. So over here uh, we have a pentagram charm which is attached to this uh, ruffled sort of tool ribbon and over here i added on this uh, craft uh, cardboard uh, a little bit of the shiny golden uh, fabric and then uh, a little bit more twig markings and this uh, i make with my inker and then um, this is Helena, maybe a nice portrait of her uh, with a basket of fruits, maybe after um, a university graduation or so. Or maybe when she was initiated into the coven. Then over here, how perfect is this? An authentic book page of which Hazel and Wood Sorrel. Um, over here on the back, I have a little bit another tab here and this beautifully coffee stained paper with a little bit of stenciling and uh, stamping as well and over here is a tuck spot with collages and i found this stitch that does excess i really like it so i'm using that a lot and a little bit uh, more very soft fragile paper uh, from a book of poems and this i printed uh, a, a vintage image uh, from the internet and um, here i did a collage with ribbon and this beautiful pink uh, silk that I came upon recently and then attached this uh, large feather on it, which I happen to have a feather here as well. Um, so in the back of this, in this second uh, signature, I have also the cotton fabric, but I added uh, fabric samples and just attached them together with a brad over here as well so you can snip these off and use it somewhere else if you wish and or um, just look through it i just wanted to put a, a, a little bit of a sampler fabric sampler in here and i didn't want to cover this um, beautiful uh, stained uh, cotton here so i do sew lines on it and then do some different things now you can also add something to these that i'm missing now this is about the moon phases so she keeps, um, you know, good track on that and a little bit of uh, some, um, you know, odd images that she collects. And then again, this was a half page. So I added a little bit more here for writing and did this um, beautiful collage here of different textures and some uh, paper ruffle. And in the back, uh, you have space to write and look at some more images here. And a little bit uh, different uh, lace piece over here. And um, lots and lots of uh, collages all over this book. So a lot of work and a lot of sewing in here. Um, here I added a button as well. And then this is a little glassine bag here that I uh, taped up and sewn over. 
and then a tag um, again with some different things on here so a lot of tags and uh, different items to write on and more coffee stained paper and in here as well this beautiful blue i'm not even sure how i got this because i have like a box full of the paper that i um eco dye or coffee dye or some kind of paint or something acrylics which i then um, cover and then i pull out a piece of paper and i'm not sure really anymore how i did it but anyhow i did stamping here and some sewing and collaging here with the word witchcraft and over here i included an envelope that i made uh, from an authentic book page and put a little bit of a, a fabric sampler here and then inside is um, just a little notebook, a little more um, paper to write on, and a little middle fabric middle. And here too, I put a, a stamp on here that that's in the colors and some plants, and a little bit of embossed piece here that you can write on. And over here, I uh, put like a, a little tip in, I believe they call it, but just a little lace um, that covers this. Uh, a pentagram which I made uh, from sticks and I wrapped a uh, rope around it and so on and then I photographed it so this is, this is a little bit of a tuck spot so you can put something in here more collaging of course and stamping and twig marks markings and a little bit of sequence here as well and so this is the middle of the second signature and inside here uh, we have a little a uh, little bit about plants in black and white and here it looks like uh, maybe uh, Helena was making a list maybe it uh, belonged to the coven or uh, some kind of names on here and then on the back you can write as well so I printed that and I aged it oops I dropped, I dropped my paper clip let me just put this back okay so now in the middle again is uh, my own uh, digital collage and on it as well if you look through it um, you can see some phrases and uh, some fabrics and uh, texture as well and then a little bit of beads in the middle and uh, things that uh, helena might be doing some uh, little snapshots that she's keeping and uh, maybe another little house from the past that looks, looks like a witch house so i kept it in here so a lot going on uh, just on these pages as well if you take a good look and then inside here is more about following the motion of the moon so a little bit more from a, a book that i have on astronomy and um over here uh another tuck spot inside here so there are some places where you can sort of sneak in some uh, little writings or messages uh, a little bit uh, hidden so over here uh, some more collaging and stamping of all kinds and then another envelope with embossed uh, space to write on and a stamp which kind of looks like a cauldron on here so i use that and a little bit more fabric here I did leave this one empty for you to fill because, like I said, um, it is just so full of this book. Every page is worked on in some way. So here is uh, Helena's cat and a little bit more collaging here on this beautiful blue. And then in the back is a belly band here. It uh, has H for Helena and maybe some different letters. It is, again, embossed with roses. And in here is Forget-Me-Not. And it is a little notebook so over here i have some images that i pasted over with or glued over with uh, tea tea bags so i put tea bags so that uh, because paper was from a magazine so i didn't want it to be so shiny and then it looks like maybe some little items that she might be using in her spells and here's a little writing spot and over here as well some different little images there and a little bit of a flip out tiny tiny flip out. and uh, more for writing and so on and here as well it's just something a little notebook that she keeps over here and in the actually in the middle 
we have a little uh, sequin here, like a bookmark. And here uh, we have different strands over here and a button. And then some more of the lace. And here I stamped uh, Helena. And then some different images that you might want to discover. Um, maybe some meanings behind it and so on. And then um, here this one. Um, almost like maybe uh, um, like a fire pit or something. I'm not sure. And this is some kind of frame, I think. And then over here, uh, more collaging. And then uh, maybe a hawk over here. A bit more about the moon phases. And uh, here is that um, cotton fabric page with some more samples of um, sari scarves and uh, different fabrics. And then here as well, a little bit of that pink. Love this pink color. Salmon, sort of. I love roses in that color too. Just beautiful. Then a little bit more printout here. And authentic book page here from the Holmes book. A little bit of a tuck spot here with this uh, cluster. And um, some more tabs with uh, eyelash trim. And... Um, coffee stained and stenciled and so on a bit more plants of course because she's a pomologist and she is always studying and researching and keeping um, little notes and uh, uh, snapshots of different uh, plants and fruits and uh, this one is uh, something that i coffee stained and then i painted over and i stamped over so a lot of work on this uh, type of tag I did a few of these and then I punched out a square and I put some images behind that I then sewn over. Over here is um, these little pieces that I use are actually painted, um, something that I painted. I have a page of it and then I just use here and there. And then more twig markings here. And the golden uh, fabric or ribbon here, I'm not sure. I think it was actually on a roll, so I think it is like a ribbon and more of the tool ribbon here and then a um, couple of the small pieces here vintage uh, blue fabric and another large tag here with um, beautiful beautiful um, images and collaging with different uh, papers and so on and I did this frame I uh, did a whole bunch of um, my own uh, stamps so I did this one in a frame and of course in back and right and then also a very textured tab on top and so in the middle of the second and third signature I just love looking at this here just so beautiful uh, we have the the card I showed you earlier uh, that has the runes uh, symbols and then the bottom a little bit of maybe some sampling of what she uses in a in her uh, ritual or her spells and then just a, a plain horizontal tag here with some eyelash trim and in the back is uh, first of all uh, my collage here that I used with uh, keys and so on and a see-through pocket with a paper ruffle and then a little bit stamped out um, index card uh, that is coffee stained for writing and uh, she's taken up um, a hobby of uh, learning to fly the planes. So Helena has a license um, to be a pilot as well. And she's learned this from her brother, Stephen. Now, Stephen is a warlock. I'm not sure yet if he might be in the coven. Um, but maybe that's another thought to do a book about uh, her brother, Stephen, as well at some point. Um Perhaps he's in the circle of seven, and perhaps he's the leader. I don't know. <laughs> I make things, these things up as I go. But Stephen is um, Helena's uh, real-life brother. <laughs> so I used all my kids' names in this one. Um, so this is now the beginning of the second signature. And let me just show you a little bit better um, that this flips out. And inside is a little bit of a pink coffee stained index card with a punch on here 
and uh, ribbon here and um, so here's uh, Helena she is uh, relaxing a little bit here it looks like uh, with flowers and um, so she does need to take a moment uh, time out at some point and uh, have a little bit of relaxed time a bit of a tab here and this butterfly that I added at the edge and then um, here's a spot as well I did leave this one empty so you can um, put something in there and this one um, has a real postcard I added a little bit of lace on it so you can actually write in the back looks like it's mostly empty um, but it is a very old uh, postcard um, with Helena's uh, kitty on here um, I'm not sure what uh, maybe the cat's name it looks like sunbeams let's call the cat sunbeam that's unusual isn't it um, yeah I like that name sunbeam so that's her cat sunbeam and the cat keeps her company off and here's more collaging over here and over here as well on this um, tall tag a little bit of gold on the top and different items um, throughout and the back is for writing I like tall tags uh, horizontal tags all kinds of different things uh, a little bit more collaging here in a writing spot and um, a larger index card and I sewn on lace and a bit of the uh, feather it looks so nice love it and a uh, ledger in the back here as well like in the first signature and this one is a uh, liver leaf well almost looks a little bit like maybe violets but it says liver leaf uh, live forever anyways beautiful images of flowers and Circle of Seven Helena, just the title of this book, just in case you forgot. And some um, coffee stains on here. And I did add uh, one of these uh, Tim Holtz uh, paper clips uh, for you to clip something onto. And then I used a little bit of uh, wool here. And I included here sometimes when, you know, Helena is relaxing. I just like this um, porch scene. Uh, she might be sitting there and writing in this book and uh, about witches and history and pomology at the same time so this is uh, tracing paper this is a little bit more of an odd kind of uh, painting with black and white here and then some of uh, my collaging over here in the back too a little bit different shapes over here um, is like a secret little uh, see-through pocket and uh, there is just some different uh, plant items that you might want to put somewhere else in the book and uh, this also is uh, textured very textured here and all along writing spot a bit more of the lace page I'm not sure if you count this as a page anyways it's in here circle of seven here in a beautiful uh, metallic uh, paint page here and a spot over here for writing and uh, one of those where I leave it for days or even weeks or something and put it in a dark spot and leave it and then you get all kinds of this kind of markings from the coffee over here is a button and uh, uh, where somewhere where I uh, collage sort of and I uh, sewed on the pentagram a little bit more about plants here and about which is a, a vintage image here and a spot for writing on the bottom and over here is a little bit of a lace collage and then a petal a rose petal a silk rose petal a little bit of a shiny uh, ribbon and this little it's almost like a maybe a little bottle for a potion when she makes a potion she might make a little sample and put it on here and then on this in this signature I put paper samples and so sewn on paper samples this one has font on it and this one has the metallic uh, paint on it and um, you can take little bits and put it somewhere else so this is the cotton backing over here stamping and then a pocket here with a picture of um, looks like this is the whole family that's uh, Steven and 
Helena and her younger sister, let's let's say that, Christina. So Helena, Stephen, and Christina, the siblings. Thompson siblings over here. Um, this is an authentic photograph. And always collaging going on. And then this is the middle of the third signature. And uh, here we also have um, lots of textures and some beads as usual. And then Helena at different times uh, in her coven and on her own and so on. It says which here. This is vellum paper. And inside on this one, I have a collage that says coven on it. And inside is, uh, oops, sorry. Inside is just a little bit of paper to write on. And as well inside here, if you open this up, I have a little thing. It says Mayan worry dolls. So uh, my son-in-law came home uh, one time with this little bag of these tiny, tiny dolls. If I can even get it out. And uh, they're supposedly the little worry dolls. I really never heard of it before. I, what? I did manage to get it out before, and obviously somehow I got it inside. Let's see. Okay, here it comes. And uh, they're teeny, teeny, tiny worry dolls. And uh, some kind of legend goes along with them. I guess you do use it if you have some kind of worry and you hold it and... Uh, you try to think about those worries going away, uh, this little doll will help you. So a little worry doll attached over here. And so you'll have to look for it. And if you do get the journal, you have to remember to open this up and get your little worry doll um, so that you can rid yourself of all the worry that you have. And in this one is uh, from a digital collection, as, as is this. And then this is uh, just a printout. Uh, there's the little witch's hat on this one. And a little bit of extra uh, space here to write on. So that's Helena. A portrait of Helena as well. And over here I covered something up in case, you know, you don't really want to look at it. But I wanted to put something odd, which is really throughout the journal. So uh, some things that she collects also are bones. So... This one is covered with, uh, I believe this is cereal box paper, and then a tea bag paper, and then the inside is a skull. So with all the teeth still attached, it's it's not pretty or anything, but sometimes the bones are used in witchcraft. So I just kind of covered it up. So she does have it in here in case she needs to do something with it or. You know, in just in her collection here in the book, and but maybe it's not for viewing all the time. So over here it says darkening and darkness and light and lightness. And over here is the other side here. It says gothic here, about the gothic font. And then some from the typewriter book. And some numbers that I found that have seven and seven here. And five and one is six and one is seven. And eight take away one is seven and so on. So everything leads back to seven. And over here is a little bit more collage. I just love this one here. Looks so pretty with the rest of the journal here. And here's uh, maybe some of her. Uh, maybe this is Helena and this is uh, Christina. And maybe this is Charlotte. Some of her sisters from the coven. And over here is another button. Um, that I uh, put on this collage and more collaging over here it says ritual and a beautiful spot to write on as well more lace over here sometimes when uh, she travels she kept this picture of a beautiful beautiful castle I think what it looks like a castle hall and a beautiful ceiling so she likes to keep architecture things more more um, more collaging here with fabric. Over here, a little bit of uh, sparkly texture. And um, on the top, uh, we have some more about pomology and plants. It's a little tuck spot on the top here. You can add something else into it as well. More uh, plants, a little bit of odd imagery here and here as well. And a little bit more of the 
sewing and fabric collage and then this is the uh, tracing paper images this is the other side maybe sometimes the common gets together and sits outside in here as well and a little bit more coffee staining here more of this um, wool strands here that looks like that and then uh, there's red here as well so but more from the plant book in the back over here is a uh, paper and fabric collaging and then here added some beads as well on top of this red so there's splashes of red everywhere uh, red and black and so on let me just show you a little bit over here how it looks and over here as well now on we're coming to the last page of the book and in here i have um, another beautiful index card and on top of this ledger paper and here i have a negative i have some negatives and i wanted to use them sometimes this is of helena uh, maybe outside if you can see it really there she's holding uh, some flowers and on uh, the back of this little pocket is another spot here you can put some more into this this is an authentic uh, negative i have a few of these so i'm trying to use them because they're interesting to me anyway and um over here some more uh, uh tabs collage tabs and over here as well and then uh the little hinged page here so over here is a notebook and on top is um, this beautiful um, journal tag that I made with, uh, uh, that I punched out here, circles, and then I put flowers inside and also added some fabric uh, texture here. And then the little tabs that I punched out, I put on top here. And it's on the blue cabbage type paper. And to go with that uh, theme, I also used um, blue cabbage dye uh, note pad here and then one of these uh, metal frames or tags and I put a seven on it it goes into this blue little pocket and uh, with some plants over here and so, and over here, a little bit more of the plants, of course, with uh, collaging on top with texture. And a little bit more space here for you to put something else into. And at the very back, uh, we have an envelope, which I will open in a second. And um, I did put a little collage here of my shop name, Rose by Name Co. And then in the back, you can write or paste something. And here's a little bit of a silk uh, white um, tablecloth, maybe something she might use when she opens this envelope. And as we open this, of course, there is um, collaging here with that salmon silk um, that I found recently and a, a red button here and stenciling over here and in the back here. And uh, here's a little stamp of this fox. Isn't she cute? So cute. It goes with the colors of this um, journal, as does this envelope. So inside the envelope is uh, something that Helena um, keeps at the back here. Uh, so it's tarot cards. First of all, um, we have a little notebook here where she might uh, write her findings if she has a reading. And a uh, little bit stamps, um, I'm sorry, a little bit of beads over here. And this is uh, from um, a botanical uh, coloring book. So you have leaves over here to color. And in the back, you can write with a white uh, gel pen. And um, you can also color these. So a beautiful little book. And then also has a little bit of fabric on the spine. And let's see. So a little uh, see-through pocket here where she keeps the uh, tarot cards and uh, let me just see what we might find here so it's something about money well we might get angry about it and sad because uh through a message uh, we found out that there is has been a i don't know which one misfortune and the money ha the money 
has been lost. So this is the reading for you today. Watch for that money. Do not get it. Uh, do not let it get lost. So anyhow, you can read this any way you want. But I wanted to um, include uh, some of the, uh, you know, a couple of these and a couple of that because not all of them, of course, tarot cards. Not all of them are pleasant. If that were the case, then you know. That'd be beautiful. That life was always pleasant, but it isn't. So these are um, copies of um, my little tarot cards that I have uh, for many, many years. And um, well, they look authentic enough, but I did make them. So they go in here. And then along with the notebook that Helena writes into, she keeps the cards in this envelope. And so the hinge pages and the envelope and so much, um, so many inserts and so much texture all makes for a thick journal. And um, I like them this way and I'm sure somebody else does too. So this is the end of Circle of Seven Helena junk journal. And it is a large one and I hope you check it out in my Etsy shop. I'll just flip through this way. This would be a quick flip through, no? instead of talking um, the whole time. But anyways, I do enjoy videos uh, where, you know, things are explained and uh, let us know what's in there and why is it in there. So anyways, Helena does like to uh, collect a lot of things just like I do. And then she um, keeps them in this book. So let me see if we can close this up. And um, I usually like to close the journal at the end of the video i don't know just to show you that it can be done i suppose and let me see okay let's let's leave it at that um so circle of seven helena a junk journal uh, ready in the etsy shop now please go check it out and see if this uh, might be for you and um, I have other journals um, on the way as well, and uh, there'll be more in the Etsy shop at some point because I am working on uh, quite a few different ones, and um, so, and then eventually I finish something. So this one is completed. Thank you for coming by and checking out this video. Again, it's Rosie at Rose Banenko. Take care. Bye bye.